Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to the very first part of Leprosy Generation 2. We are going to be doing world adventures with this little sim that I have right here. So I know that I did a poll over on Twitter, and she is not who won, but I've been working on her skills throughout her being a teenager, and so here she is. This is Camden. Um, she looks a lot like her mom, but this is her, this is her little, like, adventure outfit. She's just kind of, I don't know, I just thought it was cute, and I gave her some tattoos. So, yeah, this is Camden. Um, she was who Delaney was pregnant with, but she's a Scorpio, she likes Egyptian music, vegetarian lobster, and spice brown. She's adventurous, brave, loves the outdoors, athletic, and charismatic. And her dad is Hank Goddard, and then obviously her mom is Delaney. So, for the kids, so Hudson is actually in a relationship with this girl Elizabeth here. Um, Sam is dating River McIrish. Um, Julia is still single. Um, her choice, by the way, athletic, frugal, neat, loves the outdoors, and family-oriented. And then Jordan is artistic, ambitious, athletic, family-oriented, and photographer's eye, and he's also still single. Um, so yeah, that's where our family is at. I will have the everyone else other than the Camden up for download in the description down, uh, yeah, description. I'd, and then, so she's got a pretty good relationship with all of her family but Hudson and her dad. Um, her dad wasn't really around much, and then I have Angelita over here, which I wanted them to be best friends, because I thought they were cute. Um, and then for her skills, oh, her lifetime wish is seasoned traveler, so it's max visa level for the three destinations. So I figured we could probably do that, I figured that'd be fun, instead of doing, like, the one that's the tomb exploring. So, she's athletic level 8, cooking level 4, fishing level 3, painting level 3, writing level 3. Um, and then she's just got a bunch of money bags in here from a money tree out back. And then she has 14,000 lifetime reward points, which actually might be useful. Um, I could get the jet setter, or I could do, there's another one, the prepared traveler. Which I think might be what we do. Because I know there's also the learned relic hunter. And that we are getting closer to that. Same with the collection helper. But um, for right now I definitely think it might be better to do the prepared traveler or the jet setter. Um, let's see. Can stay longer in destinations. See I feel like that would be useful. Because then we could get more done. And not have to like rush things. But then I also quite like the jet setter because it's got reduced prices. You know what, I think I'm going to go with Prepared Traveler. Because she's not far off of getting jet setter as is. She only needs like a thousand more points. So that should be fine. Um, but yeah, she's just going to finish up eating. And then I think we're going to go ahead and do an adventure. She actually has the want to travel to China. That was her very first want whenever she aged up. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm actually quite excited about it. I'm going to let you chat with Hudson. But I'm actually going to go ahead and skip because I am going to send her off to China. And I will pick up whenever we get back. Okay, so here we are. We are in China and she already has a little adventuring moodlet, which is super cute. But the very first thing I'm going to do is to check for adventures on the board. Um, so speak to Sun Young King Kim about the ancient. Okay. I'm going to let this kind of load up. Because it is still trying to... Um, there we go. I was going to say it's still trying to like... I can't think of the word. But we're going to go ahead and report in with this Sun person. And I want to make sure... I'm going to take these off. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're just going to let her kind of head around. This is actually one of my favorite packs. Uh, I just, I love it. 
I feel like it's just super underrated, and I'm sorry, Dress is going to try and take over. I should have honestly uninstalled that, but I wasn't thinking, so I'm sorry about that. That's a pain in the butt. Um, so it's just going to do its thing while she's heading on over. But, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But these parts are probably going to be a lot longer, just because I feel like there's so much to do. And I just, I really enjoy playing this. Like, this is one of those packs that I will play for hours upon hours and not get bored. So, we will see, we will see is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm also trying to write a text message at the same time. And I know that's not really professional, but it's about school. So, like, I don't really have much of a choice here. Um, do, do, do. Go and talk to her. She's literally standing like that. So we'll go ahead and just chat with her and see what else we need to do. Retrieve the ancient relic to receive stuff. We got some visa points off of that, so where are we headed? We're headed to the halls of the lost army. Okay, and I figured that we'd start off with China because I know for China there is... Is it Pangu's Axe? Is that the name? Pangu's Axe? I think uh, that's useful for future things. And we just went over the water. And we're going over the water again. Okay. I'm sorry. This is like super laggy for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. But hopefully... Once my game starts to, like, not freak out over being in China and stuff like that. Because normally it's not this bad. So maybe it's because I'm recording. Because I, like, I'll play World Adventures off camera. And it works pretty well. Like, it runs fairly smooth. So we'll see. But um, we're just going to kind of wait for her to climb up all of these stairs. While the lot also renders up. There we go. But, like, honestly, if you guys don't have World Adventures, you should get it. It's super underrated, and honestly, the adventures are a lot of fun. Um, I don't use the World Adventure world for, like, a vacation world ever. Um, I used to, and then I got the Traveler mod, so, like, I'll use other worlds that are in my game if I want to go on vacation. But... I'll use these for like adventuring and exploring and it's just, it's a lot of fun. And I want to turn off the headline effects here really quickly. Um, is that the right, yeah, I was like, I don't know if that's the right cheat. It is, we're good. Because I want to get some pictures and I just, I'm super excited. Um, okay. This message is going to have to wait because it's going to require a lot of explanation for school. And I'm wanting to film. Look at how cute she is. And I also just realized that if you guys have been around on my channel for a while and you watched my... Was it my Robertson's current households? She's wearing a very similar outfit to what I had Giselle in. And Giselle was my... Um... World Adventures Sim <laughs> for that Lepis Z, so that's kind of funny. Um, so she's going to head down these stairs while I check things out and make sure I'm not missing anything up here. Because it has an option to go through here, but I don't know. Uh, that's it. I'm just double checking that I'm not missing anything. And I don't think I am. So we'll go ahead and head on down these stairs. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how much I love World Adventures. Um, so I know that there's this little blue flashy thing over here, which is where we put the keystone. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything else. Alright, so we'll put this in here. There we go. And then we'll go through this door. It looks like the tomb hasn't been disturbed in ages. Oh boy. Okay, this could be interesting. 
So I'm seeing these, so we'll go ahead and collect these coins here. And then, I think I've actually done this tomb before. So this might be pretty easy for me. So I'm just going to pull this far. Because I have to try and line it up with this little like square thing here. I'm actually so excited to be bringing World Adventures to this, like to the channel. Um, I'm just, I'm honestly like I'm beaming right now. I wish I was doing face cam. Because I, I am flat out just beaming. Um, we're going to go through this door over here. Okay. Make sure I'm not missing anything. And I don't think I am. So we're going to do the same thing and pull this once over here. And I still don't think I'm missing anything. I feel like this is a very beginner safe tomb to do and then we're gonna come over here and stand on this because I feel like you can get like a pretty good grasp of what you're doing because I know there's one I think it's in France it's the Landgrab Chateau um, tomb not a fan of it it takes me forever and I can never figure it out uh, so we're gonna push this Make sure I'm not missing anything here. But yeah, so I just want to push that so that it's on top of the, um, what is it called? The trap, the electrical trap. But I didn't push it far enough. So I'm going to have to push it once more. And then I'm going to let her come over here and clear this. Because then she can get through here. And I know that there's supposed to be something on this wall, but I feel like I'm missing it. Unless maybe I haven't unlocked it yet. I don't know. But so we're going to go ahead and let her clear this. And I want a picture, of course. So we're going to hop on down in here. Get some pictures. There we go. It always makes me laugh how they just like randomly pull out a pickaxe. Like I just, I feel like it's so random. They just like randomly pull out a pickaxe. But, okay, you can go ahead and step on this. But, I mean, she is athletic level 8. So, I'm really not too worried about her uh, athletic skill for all of this. And then, I'm going to let her come in here. Looks like there's some chests in here. So, uh, you can come and pull this once. And then open this chest, and then you can push this. I'm just going to kind of cue her up a little bit. There we go. Because I was going to say she should be able to fit. Um, we have a gem, so we'll go ahead and take that. It's not what they're looking for, but it does make some pretty good money. And you guys can, like, make collections out of this stuff, too. Uh, can you... I didn't get you to push that far enough, either. Push that one more time. And then you can come over here and open these. We have some ancient coins. We have 58 ancient, eight, 58 ancient coins now. Ooh, and we got some morsel, which is good, because if she gets hungry during the tomb, then we have some food. And uh, is there anything else I am missing in here? I don't think so. I feel like I have everything out of this room, but I really just want to make sure before I go over and like explore the hole in the wall. I think I've got everything, so we'll come over here and inspect this, because this should unlock this door over here if I'm right. Yes, okay. And then you can go ahead and go through this door. Ooh. Okay, so this, we're going to go ahead, oh, I clicked the wrong thing, not get soaked, go explore. Alright, Camden can barely see in the dark depths of the water, she reached the bottom and it's covered in a thick layer of algae. We're going to go ahead and swim through here and open up this chest when she pops out, there she is. Okay, go open this. We have a keystone. And then we're going to go ahead and explore this again. Okay. She, yeah, so we'll go ahead and hit go because that should bring her back here. There we go. 
And then we can go ahead and insert the keystone over here. And then go through this door. Alright, so we just completed the legendary halls of the lost army. So I'm going to go ahead and get her to open all this. And we have some vases and like some relics around here. So what do you guys see this like blue thing? I don't know what to call it. Like, I always consider them like lightning bolts. Um, that's where the relic is that we needed. And then I'll let her come over here and stand on this which should open up a doorway and then she can go ahead and leave and take the relic back to Sun. So there is our very first tomb explored, you guys. Which I know that's not a lifetime wish, but I'm just, I'm happy with it. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and deliver the relics. And uh, I guess there's only one. So we'll go ahead and deliver that and see what else we potentially need to do for this. I don't know if we need anything, but I think it's funny that she brought the car because I had plans to buy her a Vespa um, whenever we traveled to France, but maybe if she's going to bring the cars along, we don't have to. I don't know. We'll see. I wish this wasn't so laggy, but there we go. So here is Sun, and if you guys don't have World Adventures, um, this actually has, ooh, okay. We just got Visa level one. After one adventure, are you serious? Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, I think we're actually done for that adventure so I'm gonna get her to head on over here to the market because I want to get something to eat and pick up some traveling stuff so like they have like showers in a can and a tent that you can pick up and just some stuff that you might need for the more time-consuming adventures and I figured this would be a good time to go ahead and like pick those up while we're doing our thing. Okay. I also really want to upgrade the car. I don't know. That's one I'm just kind of like tired of it. And it was late and so it kind of makes me sad at the same time. But um, yeah, we're just going to kind of have some fun with China. And I'm excited to make the thumbnail for this series. I just have to figure out how I want to do it. Because, like, I want to sit and film first before making the thumbnail, you know? So, I just, I don't know, I'm excited. Um, I really wish that I had done face cam, but I know that if I had done face cam, that um, you guys wouldn't be able to see every bit of the tombs and stuff like that. So we have a books register here, food register, which I'm going to let you head on over here to buy food. And then I also want her to pick up some books because they do have uh, different recipe books per each world that you go to. So that's kind of my one goal here as well. I want to get her to learn all the recipes that comes with World Adventures. So we'll go ahead and do that. But at first I want to get her something to eat. Um, so I have some custom recipes in here that I downloaded off of Mod The Sims. So I'm just going to go ahead and let her get some dim sum. Cost 60 simoleons, but it's fine. I'll let her go ahead and eat up, and then she can go ahead and buy some books. Luckily, we have a fair bit of money, so I'm not too worried about running out of simoleons. I also haven't figured out what I want to do for Camden as her job. Um, I might do like a self-employed collector maybe, or I don't know. I haven't fully figured that out yet. I have seen, was it Lexi and Keegan? I think it was Lexi and Keegan. 
They were doing a archaeology career in theirs, which is like a custom career, which I think is super cool. But I honestly think that I just want her to make her living off of her adventures and like the relics that she collects and stuff like that. So I feel like that'd be kind of fun. So maybe that's what I'll do, but I'm getting her to make fortune cookies. Because, I mean, it's right here, so why wouldn't I? And I want to know what it says. What did it say? What did it say? Sorry, we don't teach cha Tai Chi. And then it gives us our lucky numbers. Well, that wasn't very exciting of a fortune. And then you can come over here and buy as well. Okay. So... As you guys can see, like, they have martial arts books, but, like, they have stir fry and egg rolls, um, which I'll go ahead and buy both of those. And I think that's it for recipe books. I think it's just stir fry and egg rolls. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So I know I didn't even get her to get, like, a Chinese dish. <laughs> but, um, it's fine. She got some food anyways. And then over here, this is the... Relics one, so I'll just go ahead and show you guys this here really quick. So like I can go ahead and sell My relics here So just like that and that easily gets me 506 simoleons and Then you can also like buy relics there. I don't typically unless I desperately need to But this is the one that I want over here. This is the general store So this is where I can buy all the things that I need for the adventures so I'll go ahead and show you guys that when this pops up. But, um, yeah. Pop on up so I can show. Please and thank you. So you can get dried food, shower in a can. You can get the tents, which you have options of the two-bedroom tent. I don't need a two-bedroom tent. So I'm only going to get the one-bedroom. Uh, we'll get a few showers in a can. Uh, you can get incense holders. And then you can get like the martial arts stuff and a chest and some fireworks. And it's just, it's really cool like what each place has to offer. Um, I do want to pick her up some food. I think we'll go medium quality. I will go high quality, but I don't want to waste all of our money. So there goes 800 simoleons right then and there. I'll save in a little bit. And um, we're going to go ahead and return. Okay, so we are back. It is now the next day. And it's actually kind of late. She ended up sleeping in a lot later than I had thought that she would. So it's about 4 o'clock in game. So collect 5 medals and deliver them to receive a cash reward. So for this, I'll go ahead and show you guys. So see, in the map view, you can actually see where these medals are already located. So you can just, like, click on the map and it'll take you there. And just kind of, like, collect them. There we go. So there's two. And I think it said that we needed five. So maybe I'll come up over here. Because it seems like there's a lot in this overall area. So we'll go ahead and collect this and collect this. And then we need one more, which we'll just do this one that's down here. And collect that, and that should be all five. Um, I know that I'm having her kind of like go all spread out all over the place, but it's fine. Um, I actually like, I really love doing this stuff. I don't know. Um, okay, so there's one, two, and then we'll go on to get the other ones. She's back on the road so we can take the car. I'm sorry for the really loud noises. Um, whoever is calling us right now, we are busy. We are on an adventure. We will talk to you later. Okay, Willie. Oh, it's my neighbor in his super loud truck. I see. So there's three. Apparently we can't get to that one. That's fine. You can't get to the other one either, Willie. Um, okay. Well, there's one right across the road here that you can get to. So how about you go and collect that. And then... 
Can we get to this one? Is this one accessible? That's the only thing, is sometimes they're placed where you can't get them. So, like, I've had them placed where they're, like, under a boulder that you literally can't get to. Um, oh, there's one down here. Okay, that works. So then we'll come down here and collect this one, and then we should have all five. So we'll just kind of fast forward through this here. Where is she? There we go. So there we have all five. So now we can go ahead and deliver the medal. And somebody's attracted to her. It looks like the guy we're going to see. Okay, well, we'll have to see if he's cute. Maybe she'll end up marrying somebody from, like, one of these worlds. I don't know. I haven't fully decided. But, okay, so we're going to go ahead and run on over to him to give him the medals that he had asked for. And it also depends on how long that you've been in the world as well for how many things have spawned. Um, what did you get? I don't know what she just completed for her lifetime wishes. I don't know why we just got those 500 points. But okay. Um, I feel like this guy is just sending us on a wild goose chase. And like we're chasing after him. Is he here? I don't see him. Has he just not loaded up yet? I'm guessing that's the case because she's talking to somebody. Deliver the medal. Okay. Collect two old common relics and return them. I guarantee you I probably already had two and I just sold them. Well, that's annoying. Okay, so maybe don't always sell your relics. Uh, I'm going to let her come on over here to the market and buy some relics at the store. Okay, so I bought a couple of relics at that relic store. So now we're heading on back to where... We just were. Um, I could have probably had that done if I didn't sell them. Wasn't thinking. But it's fine. We got some anyway, so we can go ahead and continue. Okay, talk to this guy over here. Give him the relics that he wants. Okay, deliver the telescope parts to Chen Hong so that they can be properly repaired. Okay, we'll go ahead and deliver those. That doesn't sound very difficult. That sounds like it'll be like one talking interaction and it's done. Um, so I actually have a little folder. It's not like, it's kind of a folder. So this here is like all of my relics that I have. So I'm actually going to go ahead and sell them because I did buy all of them from the store. So it gives me some simoleons. Return the telescope lens. Okay, so now we're going to run back on over here. That was honestly really quick. So I'm guessing this guy doesn't live very far from where we were. Okay. Because, like, she had that done and talked to that guy and delivered them by the time I was even able to sell the relics. Uh, convince three locals to sleep with their lights off at night. Well, I thought that would be a common thing, but we can do that. Uh, maybe I'll just go to one of these neighboring houses. Just because I'm sure that they probably have some sims in them. Okay, so I had her go over to this dude's house. No idea who he is. I think it said that they were the Pei family, or P family, P-E-I. I think that was how that was spelled. And I'm trying to get her to, like, properly introduce herself to him. But, uh, as you guys can see, it's clearly not working all too well. So we'll have to kind of wait and see here. But, um... Okay, so he's like stuck or something. I don't know, well he's going to bed. But, um, do I bother to try and wake him up? We'll see. We can at least do like a friendly introduction, say hey, because that should bring up our relationship a little bit. And, um, can we tell him a funny story? I'm surprised he hasn't kicked us out of his house. And, uh, then we'll just do some socializing. This is a mod that I have. 
Okay, so he just kicked us out. Okay, so... All right, so we are back. I had to stay in a tent overnight, literally outside of the house, because I want to get the relationships up. So I did get her to become friends with the mom and the dad of this family. And then we have some other sims over here. Um, it actually appears that Jordan is actually here in China as well. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to wake up this sim over here. I'm going to send you over here. Okay, because I, I've already convinced two out of three. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see if we can do this one as well. Give this guy a friendly introduction. Um, I'm guessing that he's a teenager. He looks kind of shorter than her, so I'm going to say he's a teenager. Yeah, definitely a teen. Okay, so he says yo. I didn't realize that they said that, but okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a silly face. And we'll tell a funny story. And then... I don't know, we're just going to try and like build the relationship up. Because I have to get them up to being friends before I can just like randomly convince them, I think. So, we'll try. Um, maybe I'll actually get her to learn some of the songs while we're here. I think that'd be interesting. Okay. Camden, you shouldn't sing. <laughs> I'll have to remember not to turn my audio down all the way. But when I'm in editing, I have like in-game audio so that you guys can hear the sing. And then we'll do this one too. I don't know if it helps um, get the relationship up at all. But it's always entertaining for them to like know the songs. I don't know. I think it's just a really cute interaction and like, I don't know. So, oh my goodness, Camden. All right, so he's walking away. Can I get you guys to do this? We'll hit inspired. I don't think that helped the relationship any. I think they just gave them the inspired moodlet. And now she's wanting to go and watch the TV. Um, he's going to do something. And that guy's not in his bedroom anymore. Where did you go? I need one more person. Are you down here watching TV? Okay. So I'm going to let her come over here and do a friendly introduction. This would be a really good time to get her charisma skill up so that I could do like a charming introduction. Ooh. Okay, so he is attracted to her. Honestly, that could be kind of cute. Hmm. We'll see. Um, I don't want to change them up. Like I know for the last generation, I gave some Sunset Valley people makeovers. So like Leighton and Hank. But I don't want to do that for the, these sims because honestly World Adventures has some pretty cute townies as is. Okay, so we did it. So we're going to go ahead and report into that other guy. Have to keep this guy here in mind. So honestly, I think it'd be cute if Camden got like married or something to uh, one of the World Adventure townies. So I just want to check here. So we are doing the Dragon's Cave stuff. Um, we can see like a relics collection, but we are 62% already to visa level 2. So this actually might not be as difficult as I had thought that it would be. Um, but I do want to obviously continue exploring, even if we get all the visas up, like I want to continuously explore. Because that's what World Adventures is all about, and I know like it's just to complete her lifetime wish, but... I just, I don't know, this will be something that I just continuously will want to play with. Um, so we're just going to come over here to this guy and report in. If he feels like turning around, there we go. And we got 20 visa points, 80 ancient coins, and 800 simoleons. Alright, so she's wanting to return to base camp, which is fine. Because she does actually need to use the bathroom, and I want her to get something to eat as well. Um, so this is the base camp here. Um, it's actually really cute. I do quite enjoy it. 
So, I'm gonna let you come over here and we'll just do like a quick meal of, not right now, get some canned soup. What is that? I think there's a helicopter, you guys. There is a helicopter. Um, I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. I don't have any control over that by any means. But I'm gonna let her just go ahead and eat her soup and then she's gonna use the bathroom, wash her hands. And then maybe we'll send her out on another adventure. She does have a tent, so I'm not really too worried about her if she gets tired. Um, look at how cute she is. She's just going and, like, cleaning up her dishes. And then the only thing I don't like about this base camp is that there's so many stairs. Uh, and then we'll come over here and we'll check for some adventures. See what else we can get done. But I'd say that we've done pretty good for being only one part in and already completing two adventures and almost being at visa level two. So we're gonna go ahead and just let her do her thing over here really quickly. And then we're gonna go ahead and head on down to go ahead and check for some adventures. But like, look at how many stairs there is. Like this would be such a good workout if you were actually like staying here, all of these stairs and like up and down and up and down and up and down. Good workout. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, explore the dragon cave until you find what Chen Hong intends you to find. What he intends us to find, huh? Alright, well I'm going to get her actually to head on over here, but I think I'm actually going to wrap this part up right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. It's free, and I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell down below. And I will see you guys all in my very next video, and I hope you guys are as excited for this generation as I am. Bye, guys.